All right, so we arrived at those shapes in the previous video where we were discussing and practicing using the corner tool. You also remember Boolean operations, which are accessible from the move tool over here. I wanted to show you another tool which is fairly new to the Affinity Designer Suite, namely the knife tool. I think it came with an update from the end of the year 2023 and it wasn't available before. That's why in my previous Affinity Designer courses I wasn't using it a lot because the tool was relatively new. But now that we will be working a lot, a lot, a lot with complex vector shapes, we will certainly uh, be needing it and I wanted to show this tool to you. So the knife tool is right under the vector brush tool. In order to cut something out, we know that one way to do that is to use the boolean operation subtract. So I created the circle and let's say I would like to align it with this flower. Let's say it's a flower flower shape. I go to the alignment tool ah, over here, align center, align middle so that it's right in the middle. And if I wanted to cut out this circle from this uh, flower shape, then having the two, of course, selected at the same time, I go to Boolean operations and I choose subtract. And this works very beautifully, especially when you're uh, using the rectangle tool, because the result is somehow very polished and uh, very geometric. It all depends on your style. For the project of this course, my design, my uh, botanical illustration will be somehow more polished, vectory, maybe even geometric. But sometimes you want more of a hand-drawn feeling and you want to cut something out spontaneously. Then the knife tool will be great for you because it can basically behave just like the pencil tool. But instead of drawing new shapes like the pencil tool, has the same um, options also here. So the pencil tool can have uh, stabilization. I always make like a test blob. You can close your curves with the auto close and you can make sure that it has a fill. So after the test blob, when I know that all the settings are the settings that I want, I know there's no stabilizer, it will close itself automatically and it will have a just fill. I'm ready to draw. And then you saw that this auto close gives you this red circle at the beginning that will want to close itself. And in this way, when we go to the move tool, we see this shape is fully closed. So it has this uh, light blue line all the way around it. And we know it's, a, it's an individual closed shape. All is good. So in the same way, the knife tool works, but instead of creating a shape, it will cut out the shape. And you also have an auto close over here and you can use stabilization, but just like in the previous example with the pencil tool, I'm going to use no stabilizer. Stab stabilization, by the way, is here the same rope stabilizer, window stabilizer, but no stabilization and auto close will be on. Okay. So now I tapped outside of the canvas so that nothing is selected. And I wanted just to show you something that when I'm on the move tool here and nothing from the layers is selected and I want to cut something out, it will not be working. So ideally you go to the layers panel, you select, see over here, the flower that interests you or the element that interests you. And now you can cut things out, but first you have to select the element that interests you. If I select this flower and I'm trying to cut something out here, this will not work because this is selected. It will only work on here. So this is cut out. We'll see that in the layers in a minute. This is cut out. Auto close is working because you see this red marking. So now I have exactly beautiful. So now I have cut out those. I can also delete it and I created random cutouts. But first you got to select on the layers panel, the thing that you want to cut out and then you can start cutting out. So that looks great. And why do we use the knife tool in this case? Because it will give you more of a hand drawn feeling. I think this is uh, the biggest difference between uh, using the knife tool versus using uh, Boolean operations. So now I can just delete all the cutouts that I created. <laughs> and okay, it's not very pretty but I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, 
let's maybe do something else so that you see a better example. Let's draw from the pencil tool a leaf. Also very hand-drawn looking beautiful leaf. You can change it to some green color. Now we will move to the knife tool and we will start cutting out uh, the middle part of this uh, leaf. Sorry, I think I said flower. Auto closes on. You can also change the color of this cutout, so you can also leave it. You can just make it invisible, but keep it because you might want to use it. You can delete it all together and just stay with the shape that interests you. And another nice trick, especially for pattern design, is to take this cutout element in a different color on top, onto the top layer, and to offset it a little bit. Sometimes it also works great if it stays at the bottom. Then you can grip it and you have such a, let's say, such an artistic uh, leaf shape that you can also save uh, into your library. I hope, I hope that you can see that it's a leaf. Back to the knife tool. There you can also switch off um, this auto close and sometimes you can just cut through your shapes. See, again, I didn't select it. So you select, for example, here this little moon and you just draw a line like so. So without any auto close because you don't want to create a closed shape. You just want to cut it with a straight line. And now I'm going to change the color so that you see that indeed we have two different uh, shapes over here. And one last option that I'm using sometimes is to use the straight line option. Sometimes you don't want the line that you're cutting through a shape to be wobbly. And then you can use, uh, of course I didn't select this shape, so <laughs> I had the yellow one selected. Make sure that you select what you want to cut. Uh, this, uh, in case you have doubts, you can always go to this uh, question mark and you will see also the little a cheat sheet for the this context menu that you see uh, at the top. So this straight line button says exactly straight line. So it gives you a straight line. And indeed, over here, when I draw and just hold it, you will see the straight line and you can put this line wherever you want. Okay. And now this is also a separate element. To fix the fact that the other line wasn't perfectly straight, you can also go to those uh, elements and this middle node means that your movement was a little bit more wobbly, so you can just remove the node, go to this shape, select only this middle node, remove it, and now the line, you can fix it, so to say. But if you want a perfectly straight line from the very beginning, then you have to remember about this option here. And when you switch it off, then you have access again to create shapes which have the auto close. Like so. Shook. Could cut this out. And also remember about stabilization. If you would like to have a smoother hand, you can always switch on your stabilization. It will make your line a little bit more smooth and less wobbly. And you can adjust your stabilization over here with this cursor. I usually leave it at pretty low because it can it can get out of control. See, and now you have the stabilization and your line is a little bit more flowy, let's say. Of course, my shape wasn't selected. <laughs> yeah, you have to get used to it. So let's do it again. And I'm going to remove it right away. Okay, now we practiced uh, the knife tool. I think it will also come in handy when you are creating your end botanical assets for our project.